Honestly, man, like, the more that I think about this, the more I feel like we might be totally fucked. Like, it just feels like, yeah. you know that meme of the dog in the house, and the house is on fire, and he's just smiling through this the beginning of the end? This is fine. Like, if men don't kill themselves, they're exiting education and society and family life at the highest rates ever. Women are frantically pursuing careers only to discover that they're unable to find a partner that they're attracted to, and then jump on meds at 40 years old. The Women and men... And as society, we've been led to debauchery. Mm. Debauchery is not natural for us. Love, pure, sweet, rom-com love, that is natural to us. Mm -hmm. It's not absent of chaos and struggle. So that aspect of rom-coms is wrong. Rom-com love exists in and amongst chaos and disagreement and confrontation and negotiation, right? Mm. But the debauchery that we see, we've been led to debauchery. We'd like to think too much of ourselves that we have this autonomy, and a lot of us do, but psychological autonomy, can you really say you're not influenced by the things you see on the TV or on the internet? And some that time that's, that can be good, but even if... I read a, a book called Why We Sleep, uh, Michael, Michael Walker, Mark Walker, he's an alum of my university, actually, which is the reason why oh, I read nice. it. I completely changed my entire sleeping regime. So now how can I accept that and then say that I'm not being convinced by other things that necessarily I don't agree with, but are spilling into my mind?